so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 my name is manish mishra and in today's class we will be talking about the pib news from 13th to 14th of june 2023 and i hope guys uh, the preparations are going well so now on ab se aage tak jab tak aapka phase 1 nahi ho jata you guys just have to focus on the phase 1 and now you should start revising the stuffs as well एक चीज को दस हजार बार करना ज्यादा बेटर है राधर देन दस हजार चीजों को एक बार करना राइट right? ये आपने सुना ही होगा ठीक है बहुत फेमस डायलॉग है बहुत फेमस सेइंग है तो इट्स द टाइम टू रिवाइज एवरीथिंग एंड या इट्स दी आल्सो दी टाइम टू नॉट टू डू बजटिंग इन योर सिलेबस ठीक है जो भी आपका सिलेबस है दैट यू हैव टू कवर अगर आप बजटिंग करोगे तो दिक्कत हो सकती है ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्लास टूडे एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन Consider the following statements with respect to Sankalp program. What is this Sankalp? Skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion. Now to the enrolled students, let me tell you this thing that in your government scheme PDF, is me up data thoda sa update hua hai, right? So please you guys uh, listen to this carefully. And I am not going to update the government schemes document. मैंने पहले ही बताया था. Every update will be provided through the PIB only. ठीक है? All right. So this Sankalp program, guys, remember, was launched in the year 2018. Yes, it was announced in the year 2017. Yeah, announced was the 2017 May, but officially it was launched in the year 2018 in the month of January. Right. So the thing is, why it is in news today? It is in news today, uh, today because the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship has certified 98 trainers trained in the cluster-based training of training projects under the Sankalp program. that's why it is in news but the thing is they have provided certain recent uh, you know changes although these are not major changes but yes unhone thoda bahut bataya hai so let's talk about those changes as well so objectives ki baat kare to now let's talk about the scheme the news is this only and of course this is not required for your examination what is required for your examination is the scheme right so objective of uh, sankal is to improve short term skill training qualitatively and quantitatively through strengthening the institutions which are providing the skill training number 1 number 2 and to bring in better market connectivity and inclusion of marginalized sections of the society so all in all it is a skill training uh, scheme under this uh, under this particular scheme the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship provides skill training to the marginalized sections of the society society so that they can have employment opportunities or the livelihood opportunities right It was launched in the year 2018, and the tenure of this was till March 2023. इसके बाद का कोई अपडेट अभी तक नहीं है, right? No updates after this, right? Till March 2023 इसका tenure था, जो कि हम सब जानते हैं, खत्म हो चुका है. इसके आगे क्या होगा अभी तक इन्होंने नहीं बताया है, right? Remember, it is a program of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship supported by World Bank, right? इसमें World Bank ने पैसा दिया है, कितना दिया है? 1650 crores. which is approximately 250 million dollars and this exam is this program not exam dekho tumhare exam ki taiyari karate karate mere dimag mein bhi exam hi chal raha hai so this program is based on uh, three key key, uh, key result areas which are institutional strengthening at central state and district level number two quality assurance of skill development programs because uh, not only uh, providing the skill training is enough but also the government has to ensure the quality of those skill training programs right and also inclusion of marginalized population in skill development program these are the three key result areas based on which the sankalp program is being implemented all right its outcomes are measured through the results framework and eight disbursement linked indicators based on which the world bank uh, disburses the world bank releases the disbursement to the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship and then The Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship provides that fund to the project implementing agencies, to the institutions which are providing skill training to the beneficiaries. All right. So that is all, guys, about this scheme. I hope uh, this is clear and this much is enough. So we need to identify the incorrect statements. It is Asian Development Bank Loan Assistance Scheme. No. It is being implemented by Ministry of MSME. No. Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship is the ministry. It has been implemented till March 2023. Yes, ये बात बिल्कुल सही है. Institutional strengthening at central, state, and district level is one of its three key result areas. 
तो ये बात बिल्कुल ठीक है तो थ्री एंड फोर आर करेक्ट बट रिमेम्बर वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इन द एग्जाम यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन दिस वर्ड वेदर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दी करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट और दी इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ठीक है तो इन करेक्ट है वन एंड टू ओनली ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू कन्या शिक्षा प्रवेश उत्सव वॉज लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बाई मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट इन पार्टनरशिप विद मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड यूनिसेफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज एम टू ब्रिंग दैट आउट ऑफ स्कूल एडोलेस एंड गर्ल्स इन वॉट एज ग्रुप इन इंडिया टू द फॉर्मल एजुकेशन एंड और स्किलिंग सिस्टम सो यूनिट टू फिल दिस गैप तो एज ग्रुप आपसे पूछी है सो लेट मी टेल यू दी आंसर फर्स्ट इट इज इलेवन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स इलेवन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स बट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस एंड येस here in the question it is mentioned it was launched in 2022 then why we are discussing it today because it is in news it is in news or ministry ne ye bataya hai that 1 lakh girls 1 lakh girls in the age group of 11 to 14 who have dropped out of school have been brought back to the formal education under kanya shiksha pravesh utsav all right now talking about the scheme to objective tha i believe ab tak mein clear ho gaya hoga to bring back those uh, dropout women to uh, not women girls uh, dropout jo school dropout girls hai unko formal education ke under lana that is the objective the objective is to bring the school dropout girls in the age group of 11 to 14 years back to the formal education system right that is the objective launched here last year 2022 and it is a program of ministry of uh, women and child development and it is being implemented in collaboration with ministry of education and unicef right talking more about it so it has been rolled out under the umbrella scheme it's 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 actually now not umbrella beti bachao beti padhao ke under hai now can you tell me ye humne discuss kiya hai very recently that beti bachao beti padhao is now under which umbrella scheme of the ministry of women and child development write down in the comment section let's see ki aap log kitna acche se government schemes ke classes attend kar rahe hain the target of this uh, initiative of this program is 4 lakh uh, school adolescent girls in the age group of 11 to 14 and it is intended to build on the existing schemes of the ministry of women and child development which are schemes for adolescent girls beti bachao beti padhao and national education policy right so based on these three schemes the out, the outcomes of this particular initiative uh, are based on these three uh, schemes of the government of india right so this is all about it and uh, what will be the correct answer i already told the option b 11 to 14 years question number 3 guys is very very important because that is based on the achievements of pli scheme the government of india has released uh, you know has published the achievement of pli schemes so it it, it is a very important question to kya kya achievement rahi hai pli scheme ki ab tak unke bare mein baat kar lete hain and these pointers you can also use in the descriptive answer if you get any uh, you know question with respect to the uh, indian economy as a whole growth of indian economy ya initiative by the government of india to give a boost to the indian economy after covid then you can cite uh, these pointers theek hai ye pli ke bare mein hai and it is combined for all the sectors so the government is has said that till date 733 applications under all the pli schemes have been approved in 14 sectors 14 sectors With an expected investment of 3.65 lakh crores, 3.65 lakh crores, 176 MSMEs are among the PLI beneficiaries in various sectors for which the PLI scheme is there. There has been an increase in FDI inflows due to the PLI scheme. In the manufacturing sector, there is had there has been an increase of 76 percent. Ah, you know, बहुत बड़ा increase है ये, right? बहुत बड़ा jump है ये. US dollar it was uh, US dollar 21 uh, it is US dollar 21.34 billion in financial year 22 23 right to US from ye thoda galat ho gaya yahan pe it was in financial year 21 22 it was 12.09 billion dollar and it uh, it has increased to 21.34 billion dollars right in drugs and pharmaceutical sector there is has been a jump of 46% in FDI inflow similarly in food processing industry 26% and medical appliances mein you can see it is 91% of jump 91% ka jump hua jo ki bahut bahut bada number hai right actual investment realized 
and the through the PLI scheme till month of March 2023 is 62,500 crores. 62,500 crores actual investment realized and the PLI schemes in all the sectors has resulted in incremental production of sales over 6.75 lakh crores, right? Employment generation of around 3,25,000 and exports have been boosted by rupees 2.56 lakh crore till financial year 2022-23, the last financial year. So you can see the impact of PLI scheme. Incentive amount of around rupees uh, uh, 3,000 crore has been disbursed in financial year 22-23 in these eight sectors. And you don't have to remember all the name of all the eight sectors. Just remember an incentive amount of around 3,000 crore have been given under various PLI scheme in eight sectors, right? PLI scheme for large scale electronics manufacturing has resulted to increased value addition in electronic sector by 23% and in smartphone manufacturing by 20% from negligible in 2014-15. It was negligible in 2014-15 and it has increased to 23% in the area of electronic sector while in the smartphone manufacturing, we have increased the manufacturing by 20%, right? Out of US $101 billion total electronics production in financial year 22-23, smartphone alone constitutes $44 billion, including worth $11 billion of exports, right? So, both bade bade numbers hai, sarkar de rahi hai, theek hai. Jo sarkar keh rahi hai, hum maal lete hai. Baki andar kya chal raha hai? Ye to hum sab jaante hai. Thik hai ji. PLI scheme has led to major smartphone companies shifting its suppliers to India like Foxconn, Vistron, Pegatron. As a result, the top high-end phones are being manufactured in the country now. It has also resulted in 20-fold increase in women employment and localization in IT hardware. Right? And value addition in mobile manufacturing in India has been increased to 20% within a period of just 3 years. 3 saal mein 20% ka uchhaal. Import substitution of 60% has been achieved in the telecom sector. Telecom sector mein import substitution 60% pounch gaya hai. Drone sector has seen 7 times jump in turnover. 7 gune ka jump hua hai drone sector mein turnover mein. And PLI scheme of food processing has also you know, give a, gave a boost, is giving a boost to the food processing industry. Sourcing of raw materials from India has been, has seen, uh, you know, a significant increase which has positively impacted the incomes of Indian farmers. All right. Farmer sector, due to PLI scheme, there has been a significant reduction in imports of raw materials in the farmer sector. And as a result of this, unique intermediate materials and bulk, bulk drugs are being manufactured in the country now, right? Pehle hum import karte the and now these are being manufactured in the country. And transfer of technology has happened in manufacturing of various medical devices. Theek hai? So that is all about the achievement of PLI schemes. I hope this is clear. Now let's identify the incorrect statement. All right. So PLI schemes have resulted in significant increase of 76% in FDI in the manufacturing sector. Sahi baat hai. PLI scheme uh, have led to actual investment realization till March 2023 worth no of 62,500 crore and incremental production or sales. Yes, yeah, bilkul sahi baat hai. PLI scheme has led to increased value addition in the electronic sector by 40%. Nahin. It is not 40%, it is 23%. And in smartphone manufacturing, not by 50%, it is 20%. So the third statement is incorrect, which means the correct answer will be option. C. All right. Question number four. Which program? Again, an important question. Aaj ki class mein saare hi news important hai. Thik hai, sab kuch hi important hai. Toh, koi bhi halka news nahi aaj. Which program will be conducted by Homi Baba Center for Science Education in Mumbai to address gender balance in the discipline of physics at the doctorate level? Right? To promote women in, uh, you know, advanced physics at the doctorate level, Vigyan Vidushi, Vigyan Vidushi 2023, a three week summer program has been launched, has been launched at the Homi Baba Center for Science Education 
in Mumbai. Right now, this program, as I already told you, to address the gender balance in the discipline of advanced physics at the doctorate level. Now, talking about this initiative, remember it is not a new initiative. It was launched in the year 2020. 2020 में launch हुआ था और हर साल इसके नए नए batches आते हैं. Right. So this is a new batch for 2023. So for this year, 2023, it will be conducted by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research through Homi Baba Center for Science Education. It is for girl students who are pursuing physics at MSc level. It is only for girl students and it is only for those who are pursuing physics at MSc level, not any other subject. Right. It was launched in 2020, as I already told you. Aage chalte, it will be held. This year it will be held completely in the residential mode for the first time at Homi Baba Center for Science, uh, Center for uh, Science and Science Center in Education. Uh, duration will be 12th June to 1st of July 2023, and total 40 women, 40 girls, 40 girls students from 40 different institutions across the country will join this particular program. Right. So that is all about it, and. Uh, Let's talk about the question. Vigyan Vidushi 2023 is the correct answer. Question number six. Again, an important question. The first meeting of Joint Committee of India UAE Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement has been recently held in New Delhi. Both countries have set a trade target of what? In non petroleum products by 2030 from 48 billion dollars at present. So let's talk about it and then we will come back to the question. The answer is 100 billion dollars. So the first meeting of the Joint Committee of India UAE Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement CEPA has been conducted. Right? And during this meeting, both the parties have agreed to set a target of US dollar 100 billion dollar US dollar 100 billion of trade in non-petroleum products, right? Here we are talking about only the non-petroleum products, which is currently around 48 billion dollars, right? And it is, this will be achieved by 2030. Yes, 2030. The both sides have agreed to operationalize the established committees, subcommittees, or councils under the comprehensive partnership. They also agreed on mutual exchange of preferential trade data. Preferential trade data will be mutually exchanged between the two countries on quarterly basis right they also agreed on creation of a new sub committee on trade and services trade and services and finally both the parties have agreed to set up an india uae india uae comprehensive economic partnership agreement council india uae capa council which will be a b2b collaboration mechanism business to business collaboration mechanism hoga ye, right so all these things were uh, declared during the meeting and the correct answer will be 100 billion dollars option number d all right and now guys let's talk about the questions in short but before that if you want to have the pdf of this class you can join the telegram channel the link is provided in the description question number seven national institute of agriculture extension management which in short is manage recently gave awards to best postgraduate thesis, best PhD thesis and best books in agriculture extension at the third manage agriculture extension award. The question is very simple, where is manage located? So this about this institution we have discussed a lot of times in various classes. Manage is located in Hyderabad. Option A is the correct answer. Where has Ministry of Law and Justice under its Naya Bandhu initiative organized? Special lecture on child labor issues and challenges while observing the world day against child labor. The correct answer is Tripura. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 9. Which organization has organized special commemorative seminar to celebrate 75 years of UN peacekeeping in New Delhi? Right. Important question. Hai. The organization in question is Indian Army. Option C is the correct answer. Aage badte, which ministry along with the advertising standard council of india hosted an interactive consultation with stakeholders on dark patterns in mumbai what is the meaning of dark patterns here see the organization is advertising standard council of india which means that dark patterns must be related to the advertisements 
सो डार्क पैटर्न बेसिकली मैनिपुलेटिव जो एडवर्टीजमेंट होती है यह उसकी बात करता है डार्क पैटर्न मीन मैनिपुलेटिव एडवर्टीजमेंट और राइट मैनिपुलेटिव एडवर्टीजमेंट प्राइवेसी कंसर्न दिखाता है प्राइवेसी कंसर्न के बारे में बात करता है एनीथिंग विच इज रिलेटेड टू क्लिक बेट्स उसकी बात करता है राइट सो द आंसर इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ कंज्यूमर अफेयर्स फूड एंड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इलेवन है या टेन है यस इलेवन वट इज द नेम ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंडिजीनियसली डेवलप्ड एनिमल डिराइव टिश्यू इंजीनियरिंग स्कोल्ड विच इज विच मीन्स ड्रग For healing skin wounds with minimum scarring, this is important, most important for the Nabad aspirin. Nabad aspirins के लिए काफी important है. The name of this indigenously developed animal derived tissue scaffold is cold drug. Option D is the correct answer, right? How much wheat stock will be offloaded from central pool stock in the first phase under open market sale scheme? So this we have discussed recently. I believe in the month of. Uh, February or March around that only. So uh, total 30 lakh metric tons, 30 lakh metric tons, जो wheat होगा that will be offloaded. But in the phase one, it is 15 lakh. Option B is the correct answer. और ये अभी recently government scheme में भी discuss हुआ था भाई. ठीक है तो पढ़ लिया करो थोड़ा बहुत government scheme की classes. I can see बहुत कम लोग देख रहे हैं government schemes के sessions को. People are only relying on the schemes in news. तो भाई लोगों schemes in news तो ठीक है लेकिन जो अच्छी बड़ी schemes है वो भी करके जानी होती है यार मैं सौ बार एक ही बात को बता चुका हूं but I don't understand the problem. What is the theme of fourth and the final G20 Education Working Group meeting being hosted by Ministry of Education uh, in Pune? Right in Pune. The theme is ensuring foundation literacy and numeracy. especially in the context of blended learning option d is the correct answer question number 14 important question is which of the following countries have signed an mou with india on sharing india stack that is successful digital solutions implemented at population scale during global digital public infrastructure summit during global digital public infrastructure summit The three countries in question are Armenia, Sierra Leone, and Suriname, right? So one, three, and five is the correct answer. Option E. Let's move ahead to question number fifteen. Inland fish production increased from twenty-eight point two three lakh tons per year in two thousand and two thousand one to what per year in twenty one twenty two? So it has seen a very big jump of one twenty one point. Uh, to 1 lakh tons from 28.23 lakh tons to 121.21 lakh tons theek hai aur itne saal ke gap ke baad agar data doge to of course wo bada jump to ho hi gayi to it is not a you know very big achievement i would say india has signed 130 million dollar loan agreement with asian development bank to promote horticulture in which state in all the international loans you have to remember four things number 1 between uh, which bank has given the loan number 2 For which state the loan has been given? Number three, uh, for which objective the loan has been given, and the amount of loan, right? So here the correct answer is Himachal Pradesh. Option A. Seventeen. Who has chaired the National Crisis Management Committee meeting to review preparedness for implementing cyclone Bipar Joy in Arabian Sea? जो कि बहुत ही तेजी से गुजरात की तरफ बढ़ रहा है. When I am recording this video, and uh, Cabinet secretary is the correct answer. And who is the cabinet secretary? Batao, boy. Write up in the comment section who is the cabinet secretary. Question number eighteen. How much amount has been released by central government as the third installment of tax devolution to state governments in June two thousand and twenty-three? Monthly data generally I do not provide, but but the exam is very near, so it is possible that they ask question from the monthly data as well. The answer is one lakh eighteen thousand two hundred and eighty crores. Option A. And the last question for today, which pledge has been launched by Minister of Education on my GOV dot in portal to encourage students, teachers, and general public to pursue education and lifelong learning to contribute towards the progress of the nation. The pledge is Shiksha Sankalp Pledge. Shiksha Sankalp Pledge is the correct answer.
All right, so that is all for today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And I will see you in the next class on Monday. Till then, keep studying and keep studying hard. Goodbye, take care, and God bless.